Welcome to another edition of Telescope Man. Well, this is number four in a series of ham radio uh, podcasts for beginners. And today we're going to talk about handy talkies. And uh, I've got one sitting on the desk up here that I personally own. It's called a Wusan or Oshan or however you'd like to pronounce it. It's spelled W-O-U-X-U-N. W-O-U-X-U-N. And here it is right here. And notice uh, it's a little portable handheld dual band radio, which means that it covers uh, 2 meters and 70 centimeters, which would permit you to hit uh, virtually all the repeaters uh, wherever you live, uh, especially if you're not too far away from the repeaters. Now, <clears throat> notice on this one, uh, one of the questions we get is, uh, well, what should I buy? Well, of course, this is one I would recommend to you. This Wusan Oshan, however you would like to say that, W-O-U-X-U-N, you can Google that and take a look at it. And uh, it's got very good audio. Uh, it's got good sound, uh, received sound. Uh, I've always gotten good reports with it. It's not very expensive, uh, about $100. All right, so I went with this particular handy talking and let me show you some of the accessories that I bought when I bought the radio. Well, the first one is uh, obvious a little bit. I bought a, a higher gain uh, little antenna. A little bit better antenna than the one that comes with it, which is uh, about half this size. Okay, it's not a bad antenna, the one that comes with it. I just wanted something that would give me a, just a little bit more gain. So I bought this uh, higher gain antenna when I bought the radio. It may not be something you need. Uh, the antenna that comes with it is certainly good enough to use uh, as long as you're not far away from the repeaters. And they do not put what we call a rubber ducky antenna, which is a little bitty one about that big that you'll see on some of these handy talkies. Now that antenna definitely needs to be replaced with something else because it doesn't have much gain. Uh, we call them a little rubber ducky and you'll, you'll notice it's only about that tall. Okay. And it, if you see one of those, then you need to go get you a little bit better antenna. But anyway, some of the accessories when you buy this, you know, it comes with a battery and it comes with a charger. And what I do is uh, leave it in the shack and about once a week I plug it in until the green light comes on. So I know I always have a fully charged battery in it. And again, it's a dual band. The problem with uh, the new radios, especially the Chinese ones like this, is they're not very intuitive to program in the frequencies. <clears throat> it's kind of difficult. Now I will say I programmed in all the frequencies into this one manually. So it can be done. But it took me an hour or two of going through the book and trying to interpret <laughs> how to do that before I got it right. Uh, the simpler way to do it is to buy a programming cable, which is sold uh, at the same places where you'd buy the radio, and then you can plug it into your computer and uh, using the free software right off of their site, uh, they give you free software, or another software package called Chirp, C-H, IRP, <coughs> either one of those, uh, you can program this radio using a computer, which is a whole lot easier. And you're working with what looks like a spreadsheet, basically, and then you upload it into the handy talkie using the programming cable. 
So I'd encourage you to get you a programming cable as an accessory when you buy these radios. And a lot of the newer ones, uh, even the uh, Japanese ones or Kenwoods or whatever, uh, they're much easier to program with a cable than manually. Anyway, so let's continue on. So you get a charger, you get a battery. The battery is removable. And there it is. So it comes off. So a lot of people buy a second battery. They do make a uh, higher uh, amp hour battery that you can buy. Uh, I didn't do that. This is the original battery. What I did was I bought this accessory and it's simply a back plate get you a good shot of that and then we'll put it on right here so you can see it so there it is it's mounted and now I can just simply plug the radio into any 12 volt uh, power source it could be a battery a uh, regular uh, car battery that you might have uh, in an emergency situation as long as you had the corresponding uh, cigarette adapter on that battery or it could be in the car in the cigarette lighter if your car still has a cigarette lighter plug mine does or a 12 volt source most cars now have a 12 volt plug in that this will fit in so that's the way I went, and basically I can run for a long, long time, uh, much beyond two batteries, uh, using the car as a power source or some 12-volt uh, uh, battery uh, with the proper adapter that fits this. I can run a long, long time portable with that. So that's the way I went. I went with this little... Uh, cigarette lighter adapter plate. Now the other thing you're going to need uh, if you're going to set this up for uh, emergency communications and uh, mobile operation is you're going to have to have this little adapter. And why do you need this little adapter? Well let's take the antenna off and see. Okay, you can see the antenna has a real strange uh, little screw on it. It's an SMA connection. There it is. Not very big. And what this little adapter allows you to do, it's an SMA to PL239. PL239. SMA. That screws into here just like the antenna did. So you just screw it into there. Let me see if I can get that in for you. Yeah, there we go. And she's in. And there it is. And now I can go out there and get me a little dual band, uh, 2 meter, 70 centimeter, magnetic mount antenna, available everywhere, including on Amazon. And uh, I can put that on the roof of the car, or on top of the refrigerator, or even on some kind of a metal plate somewhere. It needs to have a ground plane on it that it can stick to and adhere, okay, to get it to work properly. So what this allows me to do now is to plug in the normal PL. 259 connector into this handy talkie like I just did and then I can transmit using this big bigger antenna and get a better signal uh, you're not going to get much of a signal if you try to transmit inside of a car it's surrounded by metal everywhere it's much better signal if you put this on the roof and run this wire through the window and then this is in the car, okay? So as you can see, if I have this rigged up and I put this on here, this little uh, cigarette lighter adapter, I basically have a mobile rig, a dual band rig at 5 watts that uh, works off the 
cigarette lighter in the car forever. So uh, really no batteries needed if you've got this. But you should always have a battery fully charged to be able to walk around with this uh, in case uh, you're in an event somewhere where you're out on the street somewhere. But anyway, I bought this. I bought this little uh, strain relief adapter. You know, you wouldn't want to plug this big cable into here, even if you could, because it's uh, it's stiff and it could break this uh, antenna connection. So you want this real flexible uh, little adapter. The other thing that I bought, <coughs> Because I wanted to be able to carry this in my pocket, you know, or clip to my belt. So let me get rid of this antenna for a second and I'll show you. I wanted to be able to carry this, you know, in my belt. We'll put the battery back on it. All right. It's got a batter, it's got a belt clip in the back. And so I wanted to be able to carry this on my belt with this little device which plugs into the side of the uh, handy talkie and now I have a speaker and a mic that I can clip on my shirt a la policeman like the policeman do and then clip this to my belt and I can actually listen right here the speaker and push the button and talk okay so it makes it real convenient if you're walking around at an event uh, you can just be carrying this on your belt and this up here you can hear all the transmissions better and if they call you you know you can just talk to them so I went with this uh, little supplemental microphone speaker that's also sold with this radio at the same places. And Power Works, let me spell that for you, P-O-W-E-R, uh, W-E-R-X, W-E-R-X, P-O-W-E-R, W-E-R-X, Power Works, Works, I guess is how you say that. Uh, you'll find all this at their site on the internet and along with some other sites on the internet like Main Trading uh, up in Paris, Texas. So that'd be another site you could go to and uh, Richard up there will help you put all this stuff together because he carries it. And again that's Main Trading in Paris, Texas. Just Google Main, M-A-I-N, Trading two words, and uh, you'll go right to their site. Anyway, that's my setup for a handy talkie. Uh, it works very well. Again, good audio receive, good uh, tra uh, transmit receive. Uh, they seem to have that down pretty good. And of course, it's five watts out. There is a low power. I want to say it's one watt or two watts. But uh, it's a 5 watt handy talking. And with that said, I hope that helped some of you a little bit. And as I always do, I wish you clear skies. And remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. 73, and see y'all later.